man, leave it to The Athletic to come out here with a big scoop as to what exactly the entire story is here in Columbus. Now, I've been saying it the entire time. The Blue Jackets have been fodder for interesting conversational topics this season in the National Hockey League. From all the stuff with Dubois and Lyonnais and Domi and Tortorella getting involved there too, it's been a ride, to say the least. And when it comes to the way John Tortorella has pretty much done his business throughout this season, so many of these stories that we have this year have come straight from either Tortorella himself or are by proxy a reflection of Tortorella and his overall results. I'm talking about things like Dubois getting benched. I'm talking about things like Dubois not really trying out there and then getting benched. I'm talking about things like Patrick Laine getting played on the fourth line, him getting benched too because that did happen. And then, of course, we have all the other media things. Tortorella has always been a great media interview, not necessarily in terms of the content he gives, but in terms of the entertainment value that is alongside of his words. But leave it to Aaron Portsland to come out here with another scoop as to why exactly things might have been super weird this year, especially compared to previous seasons. Here's this article here, Blue Jackets Sunday Gathering. Gerard Gallant's redemption and John Tortorella wanted to quit a year earlier. The article was published earlier yesterday, and because it is The Athletic, we will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and read that if you want. But pretty much, that's kind of the title that I wanted to go over here. The idea that John Tortorella really did just want to leave a year earlier. Now, I will be kind of violating my policy over here by saying, okay, we're not going to take pictures of this or screenshots because it's The Athletic and that's paid for material, but... This article was indeed posted onto the R Hockey subreddit, and a comment does indeed give out the main scoop that I wanted to highlight here. The Athletic confirmed this week, however, that John Tortorella tried to step down last offseason after the Blue Jackets were bounced from the bubble in Toronto following a qualifying round win over Toronto and a first round playoff loss to Tampa Bay. The veteran coach was reading the room and reading the tea leaves, realizing the direction of the club was heading was nothing close to what he thought they were building just two years earlier. Torts pretty much stuck around to keep his paycheck in full and working in a job that he wanted to do instead of being reassigned, and was asked by Nick Felino to stick around for one more season too. Further context in the jacket season and how Torts was pretty much out of it most of the year. There actually was some more conversation going around saying that Jarmo Kekalainen specifically did not want to fire Tortorella. And as a result, it led to him, despite the fact that he might have believed that the team wasn't heading down the proper direction, sticking around for one more season. And this kind of does confirm a whole bunch of other things, because... When it comes to how John Tortorella pretty much conducted himself this year compared to previous ones, you could tell that something was just kind of off the entire season. Not necessarily from one specific action, but pretty much just the entire collection of things that Tortorella was doing in 2020-2021. Obviously, the benching and all that, that comes to mind, but at the end of the day, that's not the biggest deal in the world. We have seen coaches bench players before, especially John Tortorella, of all people, but also we had the media comments, you know how Tort sometimes has that lackadaisical attitude towards answering questions from the media, well, it seemed like that was just amplified tenfold this season compared to before. Before it would be a sarcastic remark here and there, a very blunt answer to a dumb question, here it was okay, I'm gonna leave, like I'm not gonna answer your questions anymore, I'm just gonna give you the one word answers, and then I'm gonna leave, I'm just here so I don't get fined. That kind of energy, you know, coming out of these interviews, not all the time, of course, but a lot more, I would say, than what we had recently. Then, of course, also the weird line changes and everything else going in a weird direction kind of paints a bigger picture as to the fact that, yeah, Tortorella probably just didn't want to be here, you know? And I think that makes a lot more sense knowing that now as to how he approached this entire season. Furthermore, I just wanted to take you back to the 2020 playoffs back in the bubble because 
If it's true that John Tortorella really did just want to leave after the bubble, like the very first bubble in Toronto, then it really gets me thinking, you know, what were the signs? It said that he was reading the tea leaves. What exactly was it that he was reading? Because the Columbus Blue Jackets honestly had themselves a pretty good play-in series against Toronto. We all remember that, Toronto ending up crapping the bed again and not finding ways to get offense, partly because Jonas Corposalo was really good, partly because Toronto is just Toronto. But the Blue Jackets had themselves a pretty successful play-in series, and eventually when they were playing the Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning team, that's when things kind of cracked down. I don't really know if it's fair to pretty much indicate that the writing is on the wall or that the tea leaves are showing these bad signs when you guys end up losing to the team that eventually becomes the Stanley Cup champions. You know, like, I don't know if it's John Tortorella going out there saying to himself, okay, we beat the Lightning in 2019, we were so good, we made the second round, but we weren't able to beat them again in 2020, oh man, that's the writing on the wall, that's the tea leaves. I have a hard time believing that that specifically is what Tortorella is kind of referring to here when they're saying that the tea leaves or the writing is on the wall, that the team is not heading down the proper direction, unless you're talking about the players on the teams themselves. Because when it comes to individual results, hey, it's fair to see why the Blue Jackets were able to sweep the Lightning in 2019 and how they weren't able to beat them the next year. Because when it comes to the players on the team, that's the biggest change. You had Duchesne, you had Dezingle, you had Artemi freaking Panarin, you had all these stars on your lineup in 2019. So I don't think it's necessarily the results themselves that had made Tortorella want to leave his job after the bubble, but maybe it was everything else around that. It was saying, okay, this is a team that cannot hold down star talent. We have Panarin, we have Duchesne, we have Dezingle, we can't keep any of them, they don't want to stay. And maybe that is good enough of an indicator to say, all right, well... A year later, when we don't have these guys, we end up losing to Tampa Bay in the first round, technically the first round, and now Dubois, he wants out. Maybe I want out too. That's kind of the only reason I could think of as to why Tortorella would want to have left a year ago. That's just me trying to fill in the gaps in my own mind. Obviously, I'm no psychic. I'm not in the locker room. I don't know anything, just realistically speaking. But when it comes to what makes sense to me. That's kind of the thing that makes the most sense, in my opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think about this entire Tortorella thing and why he would have wanted to leave, etc. Because there certainly could be a few more reasons. Maybe he's not seeing proper development with the guys in the room already. Maybe he already knew that Dubois getting traded was going to be a thing that happened and maybe there would have been some other moves or repercussions from that. But either way, John Tortorella is out. We've known this for a while. He is not coming back to Columbus. It just appears that if he really did want out a year beforehand, oh man, that's uh, that's pretty big, isn't it? Really, really big. In fact, it says a year earlier. A year earlier is May 2020. That's before the bubble even began. So who knows if John Tortorella, even before the playoffs started in 2020, actually wanted out then. Crazy stuff, man. Absolutely crazy stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description to the Reddit article where I pulled the comment from, as well as the actual athletic article itself, because those are the two sources that we're using. But talk to me in the comments what you think about this entire Tortorella thing, why he would have wanted to get fired, or excuse me, why he wanted to quit a year earlier. Talk to me in the comments today if you enjoyed this was Ash Rolls 99. And bye.